Hey guys, Josh here with an update to our Project Evolution series. A couple of months ago, I did an unboxing for the Fluval Evo all-in-one aquarium kit. And then I followed it up with a specific equipment upgrades to start this new series, Project Evolution. Now, I'll be giving you an update on how the system is doing, the challenges that I faced, and the plans that I have for the future. First, I need to cycle the Evo. There are a lot of products out there, but for my project series, I'll be using Python's multi-purpose bio support. I chose Python because of the past results that I've had with their product line. I then threw a piece of market shrimp in the Evo. The shrimp was used as a food source for the bacteria. This is very important as you can add bacteria all day, but with no food source, the bacteria will starve and die. To ensure that the cycle is occurring, I'll be testing for ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. The very first byproduct of the nitrogen cycle is gonna be ammonia, which is very toxic to your fish. Nitrite's the next step, and also is very toxic to your fish. And the last step in the nitrogen cycle is gonna be nitrate. I allowed the Evo to run with the market shrimp for three days. After three days, I removed the shrimp and started to test daily. This method took me approximately 10 to 11 days to cycle my aquarium. Results may vary, but the importance of testing is to see your ammonia drop down to zero, nitrites to drop down to zero, and to have some presence of nitrates. The next step is adding a cleanup crew. First, I added a sand sifting starfish. He's gonna cruise around and help keep my substrate clean. I have also selected Nazaria snails. They'll be used to keep my substrate clean as well. Cool fact about Nazaria snails is that they're called zombie snails. They're called this because as soon as they detect food, they'll rise from the substrate in search of the food. Lastly, I've also added cool Ninja Astria snails. They're great for eating algae, but they'll also help keep my rocks and glass clean. I used the drip method to climatize all of these additions to the Evo. Now that they're in and cruising in their new home, they're all on the clock and have already begun cleaning up. During this time, I've been doing two to three gallon water changes on a weekly basis. So what are the challenges that I have faced so far? One of the biggest challenges that I've faced is evaporation. And I know most of you guys in the comments section have told me this, and I'm experiencing it for myself. With the upgraded return pump and no top to basically keep all the moisture in, I'm losing about a cup a day. Now I've read your comments, and I know all of you have suggested to add an auto top off. Guess what? I will be adding an auto top off, going to increase stability and it's going to reduce salinity swings. Overall, a happier aquarium. I plan on adding fish to the Evo, but I'm open to suggestions. How about you let me know your choice for the Evo in the comments below. I hope you like this video and if you did, remember to crush that like button, share it with a friend, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications, and as always, keep on tanking! Project... <laughs> now... <clears throat> I'll be giving you an update on how the system is doing. <laughs> okay. Goal is to ensure that ammonia and nitrite is at zero and you have some show. Mm, so close and oh, it's a little presence of nitrates. Bunny, we're talking about crushing the like button. For funsies. <laughs>